Hello, and welcome back to Rich Kicks. Uh, another update for you on the uh, 60s psychedelic group build hosted by 60s Rule, uh, running the Volkswagen Samba van with a uh, new configuration. Um, from my previous video, you noticed I shared some problems where the body doesn't quite meet. Um, I did fix that issue um, with the older body um, but then I came across a real crap ink job um, when I put the final clear coat over the van it I don't know what it is I, I, I don't know what it is um, I was using Tamiya clear and uh, the body was gloss uh, revel paints I got a have this feeling that Revel and Tamiya do not mix very well at all because the orange peel was beyond belief unfortunately I didn't take a photo of it or video it to uh, be able to show you guys but here at the side is the old body that I took off of the chassis and the chassis is going back in stages as well uh, but then we've got some new bits which I'll discuss in a sec with you so yeah it's all been in the as you guys call it the purple pond and stuff like that um, been stripped bare taken apart and stripped bare this is a brand new chassis from the second kit that I ordered and this is all in grey primer uh, ready for Tamiya paint Hopefully I've got a colour blue coming. I've ordered two blues, which will help, I think, get this back to where it needs to be. Um, so all the decals and everything that were on this were totally wasted. Um, I had a new kit come in, got it much cheaper, so I now have another set of decals, which is going to be a bonus. Right. So I researched this van because I know it's an, a real van that was uh, sponsored by Who. They were quite glad to sponsor it. It was uh, a reconditioned, sent off to Volkswagen to be done. Excuse me, I'm just having a cup of coffee. So, yep, sent off to Volkswagen to be done. Um, excuse me, I'll give you some details on it in a sec. Uh, do, 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 do. I've got it on the screen. Right, so this this is known as the Magic Bus. This is a 1965 Volkswagen Type 2 panel van. And the concept was conceived by Roger Daltrey, along with Volkswagen, to raise money for the Teenage Cancer Trust. Um, this concept was hashed out after the Who performed at Volkswagen's 60th anniversary celebrations in Hanover. So a period correct Volkswagen van was sourced and converted into the Magic Bus after the famous song of the same name by the legendary British rock band. So uh, it was restored in their old time of workshop in Hanover. Um, Rather than restoring the van back to its original factory specification, it was given a makeover, turning it into the Who's Magic Bus. The bus was raffled off to raise money for Teenage Cancer Trust, which Mr. Daltrey is a long-standing patron of, and 30000 was successfully raised. I'm not sure if the van has then parted company with its regular or its original owner, because it's been up for auction again so that's what's going on with this bus now there's a load of pictures to go with on this website of this bus and from what I can see of the original bus obviously I've changed the I've changed the color of the seats here because they're not what is in the bus I changed that for my preference as a preference that for me um there's a lot of little differences and inside 
I'll put pictures in this video that I've got them set aside. Um, in the back of the van, let me use these pieces here. There's, 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 a, there's speakers on the wall. You get decals for the speaker and they're indicated to go there. But they're actually, they, the speakers actually sit in the corner here. So what I'm doing is, I know it don't look much, but this is an old 135th scale fuel tank. The other half of it. So it's come off of uh, an old 135th kit. No idea what it what it's for. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make use of this little piece here as well for something else. Um, that will be painted white like the rest of the van, and that will sit. That will sit in here. One for each corner. They'll be painted white. And then they'll have the speaker put on that. So that looks like that. That will look like the original van. Mm. Oh, pardon me. That's my coffee coming back. Right now, also in this van, interior photos of the van. Um, the original seat comes in the kit. If you look on the last video, it runs like this one, straight across the back. Well, in the van it doesn't. It's only a half seat, or a three-quarter seat that runs right across the van. So what I've done is that original seat, which was these two halves here. Right. Right, That's, that was the original configuration in the model kit. It's not correct. Fortunately, I can't make a three-quarter seat, but I have made a half seat. So it is close, but not accurate to the van. The other part, is there's facings that go around the seats which enclose and we're not going to get a very good picture of this on unfortunately on here because this will end up falling on the floor in pieces right. bit back there so there's facings go around the seats good god see i told you wouldn't work. Get yeah, that for a sec. But there's facings that go around the seats. So I've put face, as you can see on here, I've got facings across the front of here. As in the picture, which I will show picture uh, alongside this video. All right. So that's going on. Yeah. I haven't got the doors because they're still they're on there so unfortunately i can't show anything on the doors but a minute now also inside the van on the back on the back wall here it isn't ribbed like this because this is obviously a panel van it's actually got a panel and that panel sits in there i cut a piece of plastic card out Lighting's terrocious. Turn that away slightly. There we go. So I've cut a panel out to put there. And this part here is the light, which I have a decal for. Um, what this piece of plastic was originally was a dashboard for an old vintage car. So it's about the right side. I've cut it off glued it on there that will get sprayed white <coughs> excuse me 
and then I'll put the deco over the top and then I'll also um, put some clear gloss or something like that over the top of the deco so it makes it look glossy like a light so that's, that's that so that's what's going on with that um, in the back of the van on the roof I'll need to just tell you a little bit on here there's two speakers which you get you get the decals for which originally in the kit the decals go behind the seat you can't see them basically so that's why this has got its own skirting piece across here and I'm going to actually put the decals on there to represent those speakers but in the top of the van there is a compartment um, I've got a couple of hex nuts that I've put on here they're a little bit large I might be able to whip them off and try and find some smaller ones but these are actual they look like to me in the photo like the air conditioning coming back into the van that's something you'd get in the front of the van you get the air coming through the ports but these look modified to that uh, and this is like a cupboard door that opens up to inside so when it I'm going to show off for the side of this panel so it will sit roughly there inside the van like so actually what it will be will be sitting sitting in there see that that will sit there that panel that cupboard and the speakers will be here and here yeah i was quite glad i found these pictures because i can this is the first time i've ever really gone out of my way to uh, create something close to the original oh and another thing um wind mirrors on this light round the wind mirrors um in the kit I don't think I've got another set available but in the kit they were round and they're like square or oblong they're like this which isn't focusing because of the light what I've done what these actually are because I've got a second kit a spare kit and lucky for me I had in in the other kit three chrome trees now what they are is they're these pieces on the tree and they the rear light they're here on the back of the van so I've taken them I'm going to fill the middle in with a bit of putty just to take away the uh, impulse and stuff inside of there and then I'll re redo those chrome mirror images so we've now got wing mirrors that will look better for the kit also these oh, he dropped it these are the um sun visors now on the sun visors 
Arl to Daltrey's and Pete Townsend signatures. So I'm not going to be able to get them decals smart or make decals for them. But what I will do is I've cleaned this back up, filled that in. Is I will get a very thin pen, like a 0 0.3 nib, blow the picture up as best I can and attempt to scribble their signatures across the front of that so it represents the vehicle that, uh, that the Who bus is all about. So yeah, there we go. That's what that's going to look like. But that's where we are. So with that little accident of having rubbish paint, um, and then finding this, instead of having to rebuild an entire model kit, managed to save all the chassis, located pictures of the original van, and I'm now building it up to actually look like the original van as it should be. So that's my update. I just thought this needed a bit more of an explanation. But if you're still watching, thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye for now.